Now we saw the voltage divider in action. So in this one, let's replace the bottom resistor right here. Uh, we'll leave the top resistor at one kilo ohm. We'll replace the bottom resistor with a photoresistor. So let's do that. So I'm going to delete this. Uh, so I am going to take this resistor and remove it from the circuit. And in fact, I'm going to bring that photoresistor, uh, rotate so that the orientation looks fine. And what I'm going to do is build the circuit that we just had, except this time it's a photoresistor at the bottom instead of R2. Now, if you recall this particular photoresistor, uh, if you recall correctly, uh, the resistance of this went from 180 kilo ohm to a uh, pretty small number, a couple hundred ohms, uh, when there was light uh, incident on it. So, uh, what do we expect here? Uh, based on the voltage divider example we saw. So now imagine this, based on the voltage divider example we saw, we saw that the total voltage uh, is divides proportionally based on the resistance. So we're measuring, let's say the, on this voltmeter that's measuring the voltage across this resistor, what we'll see is the top resistor when it's completely dark is one kilo ohm. The bottom resistor when it's completely dark is 180 kilo ohm. So the bottom resistor dominates the ratio of these two resistances. So in the very dark case, we should see that the majority of the voltage is being divided on this resistor or dropped on this resistor. So if we have 5 volt here, the majority of the voltage should be here. So this reading should be closer to 5 volts. As we make the uh, lot of more light incident on this resist uh, on this photo sensor right here. So as this becomes, uh, sees more light, it becomes less resistive. Uh, so as it becomes less resistive, we should see that the voltage across this should start to decrease. And when we are super bright on this particular resistance, that resistance was about 500 ohms. This is one kilo ohm about 500 ohms, so we should see that more of the voltage is going to be on this side and less on this side. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to start the simulation. And now 5 volt here, 4.97 volt here. So remember, it's dark right now. As I start to increase the amount of light that's on that resistor, notice what's happening. The top resistor and the bottom resistor. The two resistors right here at this point are getting closer and closer to each other. So as I become super bright, I see that the top resistor has more voltage. As I am very dark, the bottom. So the so my voltage reading, so if I'm reading this voltage, if I and forget about this particular multimeter for now. So let me stop the simulation and say delete for now. And I'm concerned only with the voltage across that resistor. So like that, when it's really dark, the reading is closer to 5 volts. When it's really bright, the reading is closer to 1.68 volts. Now, if I take this and change this to a 10 kilo ohm resistor, I can get very so from 4.7 closer to 5 volts to really low, almost close to 0 volts. So, this resistor that we're using should be at least be about 1 kilo ohm, uh, but we can leave it at 10 kilo ohm or Really, if we wanted to match it and change this range, so this was about 180 kilo ohm when it was very dark. If I change this particular resistor to 180 kilo ohm, we'll notice this. Exactly, we're seeing 2.5 volts. So this particular thing goes from 2.5 volts towards 14 millivolts. Uh, but for our exercises, we'll leave this at about 1 kilo ohm or 10 kilo ohm. Let's do 10 kilo ohm. Uh, for now, so we have 4.74 volts across that uh, light resistor when it's very dark. We have about 240 millivolt when it is very, very uh, bright. Okay, so now the next step is to connect an Arduino. So we're going to connect an Arduino uh, to it, uh, and we'll see how we might use the uh, analog ports uh, to record. Uh, the reading instead of looking at it in the multimeter. So that's what we'll do next.